All right, Alan, what do you want Nolan to tell Cook to prepare for you? You have to eat something. Look, I am feeling just fine, Alexandra. I just, just let me sit down for no, a second. No, fine. I come in here. You're sitting in the chair. You're passed out. I'm worried <sighs> sick. I don't know. I think you're... No, well, you're not going to get rid of me that easily. <sighs> All right, I was just worried about you, Alan. You had taken extra pills. Yeah, well, would you quit nagging me about those pills? Well, you should be glad somebody is worrying about you. All right, Nolan, I want you to tell Cook to set the dining room for two and... And you might inform Philip and Olivia that we don't want to be disturbed. You know, we think we've had enough excitement for one night. We yes. can't eat in the other wing. I agree. Uh, it's not a problem, though. They just left together a few minutes ago. Really? Well, well did they go to dinner or...? No, no, they said they'd uh, be out for the evening. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Well, fine, and thank you, Nolan. I'll, uh, I'll let you know what we decide on. All right. You know, Alan, I, I think some of Cook's... Cream of mushroom soup. It has those wonderful blend of herbs. Wait, 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 wait. You're telling me that Philip and Olivia are out for dinner having a grand old time, and I get you and soup. You know, Alan, you can't keep worrying about what Philip and Olivia are doing every single minute. You know you are absolutely right, Alan. Of course I am. Yes, I'm going out to dinner. No, you are not. I am going. All right, then I'm coming with you. You're not going to spoon feed me. Fine. But you promised me we're going to go somewhere very quiet. I'm going to the club. <sighs> oh, all right. No more of these today. You've had quite enough. I feel like I snuck out past curfew. <laughs> we could always go back. No, glad you're done. I'm having a great time. You know, we're out of the house. There's no Alexandra, there's no Alan. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Did I mention there's no Alan? Yes, you did. All right. We were driving. It just felt like staying in the car and just going. Interesting. Makes three of us. But that's not an option, really. So and I don't have to be good enough. Now, if I could just have a martini and yeah. three olives, hey. then everything would be right. Would you settle for the olives? You can have the olives. You have to wait for the rest till after the baby. Our baby. Oh, hello, you two. Philip Ross. Hey. Join us, please. Save me from drinking alone. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I'm here to meet Blake. Oh. Olivia, how's it going? Are you holding up? I'm, I'm hanging in. Good. I, yeah. No, but I, I'm, I'm actually hungry a lot, and I just keep thinking to myself that I'd be one of those happy people that usually annoy me if it weren't for this whole trial business. So what is next, Ross? Well, my job is now to take the evidence, such as it is, and prove that it's circumstantial. What are the chances of you doing that? Quite good. Very good. In fact, uh, the only thing that links you to this crime is your cell phone. And a number of other people had access to it. Beyond that, there's nothing else. So that's great. So as long as as long as nothing else comes up that you didn't have an opportunity to prepare for, then it should be fine, right? Well, in this case, like many others, it sort of unfolds like a chess game. And if I can see all the pieces, well, then I can win. If I don't see all the pieces and there's some surprises, well, we're all in trouble. Olivia, is there anything else? Why, why would there be anything else? No, I meant, do you have any questions? Oh, no. I'm sorry. No, I'm fine. Oh. Well, then, I should be going. Try and find Blake. Okay. Ross, thanks. All right. Olivia, you hang in there. Yes. I'll see you later. Okay. Don't. Don't just say it. Mm -mm. I don't have to say it. No. He said it. And you heard him. If he knew about the lipstick, he could prepare for it. I also heard him say that my case is based purely on circumstantial evidence. We'll win or lose based on his belief in me. He believes in you. He believes in you. Is he going to believe in me look after look I show him the lipstick? Listen, he's, he's your attorney right now, and you're his client. He's going to defend you to the best of his ability no matter what. I know him. But I can tell you something else. If Alan is the one that's behind this, he is praying that you will hide it. What? That's another bar in my prison cell. Don't you understand? This is a bomb he wants to go off in court. The last thing he wants is for you to be honest with your attorney about it. Because, given time, it could prove his guilt. No. You, you hide this. You do it at your own risk. Alan, I forgot something in the car, dear. I, don't start without me. 
I won't make any promises. I'll be right back. Mr. Spaulding, would you like to sit with your son and... and well, I'm... Olivia. Olivia, there's no escaping you, is there? My house, my club, my oh, son. Okay, all right, that's enough. I'll decide when it's enough, fellow. Are you following me? I don't believe I'm the stalker in this group. I've come here to have a nice, quiet dinner. Right, because you, you have nothing to do with what's been happening to Olivia, right? Will you stop deluding yourself, Philip? It's really embarrassing. All you have to do is open your eyes and look at the facts. She is guilty. All you have to do is look at her track record and everything... Oh, hang on a second. Do you, you really think you, you want to start bringing up track records around here? Well, there's no contest. I will admit I've made a few minor errors trying to hold on to someone who wasn't worthy of my attention. But Olivia... Olivia is an adulteress. I set out to seduce her own stepson, and in her spare time, stalks a very popular TV personality who happens to be the wife of her ex-husband. Now, I think that the jury will see things my way and send you to jail and give me custody of my child. And what kind of father puts his baby's mother in prison? Oh, so now you finally admit that I am the father, oh, huh? I'm just pointing out what a little monster you are. This baby is not yours. The child is mine, damn it. There's nothing you can do about it, Olivia. Nothing. Hey, hey. Are you drinking? Someone's not happy. You don't miss a thing, do you, Edmund? So, what's inspired this? Your guess is as good as mine. Henry Ray, business section of the journal. About your recent divorce and health problems, how do you think that's going to affect the health of Spalding Enterprises? I am Spalding Enterprises, and the company has never been stronger. As for my marriage, Smith, that... Please show him the door. Would what, you come what, with me? What, wait, wait, please. So freedom of the press does not apply to the Spaldings? Well, I wanted the whole world to know how my marriage would be without my wife and with my new son, the future of our family and our company. Okay, well, I've had enough, have you? Yes. Let's go. Fine, you can run away, but you can't run away from the fact that that is my baby. No, no, Never, do yeah. you hear me? I think that's my cue. Sit down, sit down, and I'm not asking. I am not a child, Alexandra. All right, and you stay here. I'm going to get you some water. Why am I under the impression that you've orchestrated all of this, Alexandra? Oh. As a troll, I have never been so happy to get away from someone in my life. Hang on a second. We're, we're not going anywhere yet. What? We need to get something straight. wasn't his child. It's because it isn't, and it won't be. It could be. Biologically, yes, but he will never be a father to this baby, Philip. He's going to do everything in his power to take this baby away from me. He set me up for a crime I didn't commit because he knows I'd have to be behind bars to let him near this baby. Telling him this baby isn't his is the best defense I've got. It's the only defense I've got. Yeah, well, it may also be a lie. You think the truth is going to keep him away? I mean, come on, look at him. What will he do if this baby is a DNA match? The more important question is, what will you do? He isn't the right father for this baby, and you know that. I would give anything to know that this baby is yours for sure, but in the absence of that, I'll be this baby's everything. I'll be his mother and his father before I ever let Alan get near him. Alan doesn't know how to love. And I'm not going to let him teach my baby his own twisted ideas of love and family. I want better than that. So this baby is going to learn everything the right way. And I'm going to learn along with him. And I just hope that you'll be there to help us. Olivia, I will be there and I will help you. But I can't let you build this child's life based on a lie. This you know is that. different, all right? We are saving a baby from a bad father. Oh, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't make any difference. If you love this child. You can't keep this kind of a secret. You just can't. Believe me, I know. So you know what? I'm, I'm going to make this real easy for you. If this is Alan's baby, 
I will not keep that secret. I can't. Maybe it won't come to that. Maybe you are this baby's father. Maybe I am. But you can't call me the father until we know I am for sure. I'm sorry. Me too. I'll take you home.